an unfortunate turn of events for Jose Aldo and the UFC, we'll put Chad Mendes in the ring against Conor McGregor for UFC 189 on Saturday, July 11th. These two will fight for the division's interim title inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas on just two weeks' notice. Aldo vs. McGregor was one of the most anticipated matches of 2015, but since Aldo fractured a rib in training, UFC President Dana White decided to replace him with Chad Mendez for an interim title position due to the huge pay-per-view sales and advertising revenues from this event. Conor McGregor talked a lot of trash about Aldo, saying that Aldo was just scared, but this week Aldo released an x-ray and official medical report of the fractured rib. In the co-main event, the 170-pound title is on the line as champion Robbie Lawler takes on Rory McDonald in a rematch from UFC 167, which Lawler won by split decision. In the main interim featherweight title fight between Conor McGregor and Chad Mendez, with Jose Aldo out of the main event, Chad Mendez is 17-2 and, and he comes in to face Conor McGregor, who says he'll finish Mendez within the first four minutes of this fight. Conor McGregor is also 17-2 and, and he has been submitted twice, and Mendez, also talking up the match, insists that McGregor will not last more than three rounds. Mendez said, I think my striking is going to be great. Connor's never faced anybody like me before. I have the athleticism, the strength, the power, the speed, and I have the wrestling to put him on his back and finish this fight. This fight is mine. Odds makers don't seem to agree, listing McGregor as a minus 140 favorite for this fight. Connor McGregor will be coming into this fight pissed off, so for our pick, we'll take him to win this first match. In fight two, a welterweight fight between Robbie Lawler and Rory McDonald, Lawler comes in at 25-10 and 10 with 1NC. He is making his first title defense since beating Johnny Hendricks for the belt in December in their rematch. This was his third win in a row since losing to Hendricks for the vacant belt in March of last year. McDonald at 18-2 and two has won three straight since losing to Lawler in November 2013, and he is more well-rounded than Lawler, but the champ is more powerful. The first match was very close, but McDonald is more mature now and a little tougher. Our pick, Rory McDonald. In the third fight, Dennis Bermudez versus Jeremy Steffens in the featherweight division. Bermudez at 14-4 was tapped out by Ricardo Lamas in November, halting a seven-fight win streak. Stevens is 23-11, has lost two in a row, and really needs a win to stay afloat, not only in the division, but in the UFC as a whole. Look for Bermudez to use his wrestling to control Stevens, who is not that great on the ground, but he does have a ton of knockout power. Our pick, Dennis Bermudez. In fight four, a welterweight fight between Gunnar Nelson and John Hathaway, Nelson comes in at 13-1-1. He lost for the first time as a pro to Rick Story in October, while Hathaway at 17-2 lost by knockout to Dong Hyun Kim in March of last year. Hathaway will want to keep this fight standing up, because Nelson is a beast on the mat and a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but he can handle his own striking with a black belt in karate. Our pick, Gunnar Nelson. In fight five, a bantamweight fight between Thomas Almeida and Brad Pickett, Almeida is 19-0, is 2-0 in the UFC, and he will have his eye on a top 10 opponent with a win, but Pickett at 24-10 is a tough customer who will not go away easily. The 135-pound division is not loaded by any means, so Almeida can move up quickly with a couple of wins, which continues here. Our pick, Thomas Almeida. Don't forget to check out all the UFC, MMA, and boxing odds on the board right now, and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.